You are Kakala and you Logan. How did it go? Katie asked for my advice. What I thought of the sketch. And I told her that it was cutting edge. That it was the bomb. Little does she know. Not only could the bomb detonate Bill's hold on the company, but it could also blow apart my relationship with my sister. Logan, I wish you hadn't come to this. Katie's not a bad person. I know, I know. She just made a bad decision siding with Bill. He manipulated this entire situation. You can't fight fair with somebody like that. We tried. Now we have to fight with everything we've got. It's our only way, our only way, to get this company back. Yeah. Everybody ready for Grandpa's big performance? Press conference. It's okay, guys. Logan's on board. So you're asking me to lie to my sister? Set her up to be a laughing stock? Donna, Katie is going to get caught in the crossfire here. You're right. But she put herself in that position. Look, honey, I can't do this without you. Okay. Oh, honey, but you know there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Oh, come on. I'm going to throw up. What, what are you? Are you consoling your honey bear? I don't want any sad faces at this press conference. We are celebrating Eric's decision to return to work. His comeback is Forrester's comeback. That is the message. And I expect you people to deliver it. What I'm going to deliver, Bill, is going to be the most jaw-dropping collection I've ever produced. I don't believe this. Dad would have definitely told me if he was going back to Forrester. Not if he was trying to get a jump on us. His heart isn't in it. That's why he left the first time. You have to love, love if you're going to do something like this in order to succeed. You have to eat, breathe, and sleep it. I don't know a swatch from a swizzle stick. Your? Yes, ma'am. And how about we save the ma'ams and the sirs for the clients and the vendors? And it would be perfectly fine with me if you would call me Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, and the other important thing is just relax. But don't mess up. Happy holiday to you. Thank you. Happy oh, holiday. Thanks. Nobody thought that you were going to get bonuses this year. This is will help with the bills. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Happy holidays. <laughs> thanks. Bye, you guys. Bye. Wow. Times are really, really tough. Really tough in this economy. I think we might have to do something about that. The fashion business is just like life. It's all about relationships. With buyers and vendors. Exactly. Uh, what you're going to discover very quickly in a place like this, which is filled with loony people, is that you cannot be a shrinking violet. And if you want to be my assistant, you've got to show initiative. Now, I know you don't know a lot, but I'm perfectly willing to teach you and mentor you and guide you and all of that. But you've got to learn to be prepared for just about anything, okay? I mean, for instance, we could, we could fly over to Paris tonight. Do you have your passport? We're going to Paris. I wish we were, but no, I was just sort of using that as an example. Um, if you really want to be my assistant, I'd like to think that if we did fly to Paris tonight, you'd really be excited about it. But I don't get that feeling from you. 
It has been my experience, Eric, that people don't give me things without expecting something in return. What's going on? Uh, Bill and I are discussing the new collection. A present from your father. His way of kissing and making up. Actually, the collection is not a gift to you. It's more like, uh, it's more like something I feel I owe you for everything you've done. Now, Forrester is not the company it used to be. I see that now. I can also see where it's headed, and I know exactly what I have to do to get it there. I don't know where you got this rumor from, but I promise you, my father is not coming back to Forrester. Ladies and gentlemen, please come in. We have some big news to share with you. Christmas? Yeah. Yes, I am. I want to do something really special for Jack. I'd love to have a big tree and lights. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to need help. I don't have time to do it all. What? We do it here. Here? No, we do it here. We have Christmas right here in the office, in the building. We do dinner, we do presents, we have the employees, we spread our wealth right Just here in the building. The office and Absolutely. Have, like, Santa drop by? Yes. Jack would love that. I would love do you think it's too late to find somebody to cater for Christmas Eve? Oh, well Stephanie could probably make that happen. She would, I'll buzz her right. No, here. no, no. I want to talk to her about Dad anyway. I'll call her. You're worried that I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I wasn't prepared for any of this. I signed on to be a surrogate. I, I'd meet a nice couple, make some money, and I'd have the satisfaction of knowing I helped their dreams come true. But this wasn't, this wasn't part of the bargain. Well, Sandy, if you don't want the job, no one's forcing you to take it. Mrs. Forrester, I wouldn't allow myself to want a job like this. I wouldn't even allow myself to daydream about having a job like this. Opportunities like this, they don't happen for people like me. People like you? Unlucky people. I can see that this is a little overwhelming. And I'm sure that I'm a little overwhelming as well. You know anything about this place, really? <laughs> Jackie and I used to absolutely hate each other. As a matter of fact, I was vilified and hated by every single person in this building. Well, that's because I was the competition. But you know, like politics, it makes for strange bedfellows. So here we are. I don't think that you should continue to feel overwhelmed. I think you should relax and try and enjoy this. Go with the flow. If you keep the job, I honestly think it will help you. And I honestly think that it will enrich your life. Bill is right. We have a very big announcement to make today. As of today, Eric Forster has rejoined the team here at Forster Creations. And we are all so pleased and so honored to have him back. Thank you, Eric? Katie. Thank you. I am glad to be back. And I know that you must have some questions. I will uh, I'll make sure to answer all of them. In a second, I just want to say first that, uh, well, I'm happy to be back, and I apologize for my absence. I really do. I haven't come back to save Forrester from Bill and Katie. I've come back because I've seen an opportunity here. We have new owners, no longer a family business. We are a division of Spencer Publications, an international conglomerate. We have uh, stockholders to answer to now but the upside of that is that they have provided us with the means and the motivation to take Forrester to the cutting edge and that's exactly what I intend to do with this new collection and with my return to the company so thank you Thank you all so much for coming. Thanks, What's everyone. Happening? What's going on? What happened, Dad? Is it money? I mean, look, I know the market's down, but for good. Are you ready to see your new office? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Let me uh, get my things and I'll get to work. This way. I 
I don't know what to say. Say thank you. And say thank you every morning when you wake up. Jackie M's is a very special place filled with a lot of crazy people. <laughs> You'll fit right in. Uh, hi. I'm sure she can probably settle this and tell the truth. Is Dad going back to Forrester? I heard that. You did? From mm -hmm. who? Dad? No. See, this is odd. It's odd. Don't you think it's odd? I warned her that that guy was trouble. And the moment they met, I knew that she would get hurt. I feel the same way you do. But we can't let them know that. Bill and Katie have to think that we're on their side. We don't have to like it, but we do need to get with the program. This is my office. I know what it is, Thorne, and what a wonderful opportunity sharing it with your father. This is how you say welcome back? If you have to double up, then why don't you put the designers together? It's all right, you two. It's okay. Is this going to be a problem, Eric? No, boss. Good. Now, here's what I want. You and Ridge have promised me a collection like no other. I expect you to deliver and fast. Concept presentation ASAP. We need to get rolling on this line. That's exactly what we need to be doing. You good with this? Sure. Okay, then I will leave you to your creative devices. Uh, Bill. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, you heard what the boss said. No, sir. Yes, boss. What the... Just let Dad explain. How can you suck up to him like this? Take a look at the designs. You'll see what I'm doing. What in the... This is not what you promised Bill Spencer, Dad. Yes, it is. This is the cutting edge of fashion for the future. Yeah, for the 80s. When I deliver these designs to Bill and to Katie, you will praise them. And you'll praise Bill, more importantly, for his willingness to make such a bold fashion statement. So you want us to convince him that these are good? When everyone else will know that they aren't. Buyers, our clients, no one will buy them. <laughs> Dad, our reputation will be ruined. I mean, this is professional suicide. That's the risk that we're going to take here. We have to. We have to take this risk to get this company back. Lying to our sister. I, I just hate this. I know. I do, too. She asked what I thought of the latest design. Well, what did you tell her? I told her that I thought it would turn forced to creations upside down. Hey, what are you doing up here? Everyone else is downstairs. Oh, I thought you were going to Eric's office. Yeah, he's, um, sharing an office with Thorne. Whose idea was that? Or do we even have to ask? Okay. So, how did Eric take it? Better than I expected. Well, I... I guess maybe your father hasn't talked about it because he probably doesn't really want to go back to work there. Oh, well, then why, why go and do it? <laughs> Honey, I stopped trying to question your father's motives years ago. I have a question. Douglas fir or scotch pine? Nick and I were talking about Christmas. Oh. We giving trees out as bonuses for Christmas? Um... We were going to have Christmas Eve here at the yeah. office. And, and you're both invited. Christmas at the office? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to look like an office when we're done. Everyone's welcome. Unless, of course, you have other plans, you know? I'm sure Dad will be doing something. <laughs> what? Oh, I can't wait to have eggnog with Donna. Okay. You are invited. We would love to have you. Yes. Well, I just started working here. I don't really know anyone. Well, you're not going to spend Christmas by yourself. You have to come. Oh, it's so sweet. Thank you. I'm touched, but I really can't. Huh. 
Just give him the facts, straight up. Eric Forrester is back. Hey. Thorne's office, really? I wanted to see what Eric would do. Did he pass your test? I'm not sure. Maybe he's as fired up as he says he is. Or maybe he's up to something. Oh, honey bear, I am so sorry. I can't believe Bill is treating you this way. It's okay, it's okay. He's testing me. I expected that. Did you and Thorne have a chance to talk? Yes, we did. And now it's time for phase two of our plan, the collection itself. We've already put together some preliminary sketches. Bill wants to see the whole concept. First thing we need is a name. Bill wants the collection that demands attention, makes you notice. Well, we're going to give him cutting edge. We're going to give him trend setting. We need a name to reflect that. Something bold, something daring. Daring, daring. How about dare? <laughs> As in, I dare you to wear this? No, dare to be young, dare to be beautiful, dare to be different. That's good. That's very good. I like it. I think Bill and Katie will like that, too. But what if they don't? Look, I, I hate to say this, but if this doesn't work, do we have a backup plan? Donna, it has to work. But at what cost, Ridge? We're turning our family name into a no, joke. Thorne, I felt the same way at first. I mean, yeah, yeah, destroying my reputation that I built over a whole lifetime with one collection, but... Look, but when the collection fails, Bill's the one that's going to take the fall. Forrester becomes a drain on Spencer Publications. Liability, not an asset. Spencer's board of directors will force him to sell it. And he'll be anxious to sell, all right. And you know who's going to be there to take it? Us. That is the day when we take this company, the real Forrester Creations, and, and help it rise to its former glory. We can rebuild this, this reputation of class and elegance when the company is back in our hands. It's time to bring Forrester Creations home. Put the company back in the hands of the people that made it great. This is our name on the building out there, everybody. I want to see Forrester on the CEO office door now. This has got to be really top secret. No leaks at all, okay? We have to sell this line like we've never sold anything before. There's no room for doubt, no room for suspicion. We have to make Bill and Katie believe this is the wave of the future. It's very risky. Rich and I understand that, and we're asking a lot of all of you here, especially of you, Donna, and you, Brooke. I'll do it. I will do it. I'll do whatever it takes for you to get your company back. And I convinced you to sell. I know I made a terrible mistake. I support you completely. Count me in. I'll do whatever it takes to. Great. Well, we have what it takes right here in this room. Foresters united, standing together, committed, fighting for what is ours. Listen, everybody, we will dare. We will win. Because I swear to God, Forrester Creations will be ours once again. Okay. okay.